Continuing the series on configuring the distributed cache service in SharePoint 2013, in this video we're going to look at configuring cache memory. So there's a few different scenarios that we want to look at, and it's pretty well documented on the TechNet site. So for instance, there are three main server farm sizes that you want to consider. So we've got the small farm, that's where we have fewer than 10,000 users. There, that could quite happily coexist on a server running other SharePoint services. And Microsoft recommends the minimum cache size is one gig, and the total allocated to the cache service should be two gig. That's double the recommended size. The minimum number of hosts per farm there is one, so we need to have at least one server running this. And in fact, SharePoint can't work, can't run without the distributed cache service running on at least one of the servers in the farm. Now, Microsoft says if you have more RAM than, than that, you should consider allocating just two gigabytes to everything else and up to 16 gig for the distributed cache service. Now, they also say there are some services that simply don't play well with the distributed cache. So don't put the distributed cache on a server that's already running SQL Server, the search services, Excel services, or the project services. So the next size farm up is the medium farm, and that they estimate at around 100,000 or fewer users. And the reason it's so user-centric is because the more users you have, conceivably, the more social computing is going on, the more news feeds and the more microblogging events are happening, and that uses cache memory in order to speed this up. So they recommend 2.5 gig for the cache service, 5 gig therefore allocated as a total. The bad news for a medium farm is you need to have a dedicated server for their recommended architectural configuration. So a dedicated cache server. Now in a large farm, this is up to half a million users or so. They reckon 12 gig for the cache service, 24 gig total, and definitely single or multiple but dedicated distributed cache server servers. If for whatever reason you reckon you need more than 16 gigabytes of physical memory to be added to the cache service, they reckon don't add that to a single server's cache. Instead, start the distributed cache service on multiple servers. And if you do attempt to add more than 16 gig to a single cache server instance, then you're going to get odd behavior for at least 10 seconds, as it's probably going to stop responding for that time and eventually come back to life. But it won't be performing the way it should be. So given that any SharePoint farm must have a single or more instance of a server running the distributed cache service, how much RAM do you get by default? How much does it take? And it so happens that when you install SharePoint at that point, it counts how much RAM that server has and it allocates that to the cache service. And if you later add more RAM or add more virtual RAM to a virtual server, SharePoint simply won't notice and change that itself. So you're going to have to do that. So let's assume we want to change the amount of RAM we're using. To do that, I need to start PowerShell. So this is the SharePoint management shell run as administrator. And we start off with the use cache cluster commandlet. Next, I need to get at the app fabric AF cache host configuration and I can specify which computer this is for, which machine in my farm. Well, I want to use the local one, so I'm going to cheat and just put brackets hostname, and it'll run the hostname command and save that string in that parameter position. And I have to tell it which cache port we're going to use, so which port for our cache. It's a high port by default, 22233. And let's hit return. So if we'd like to increase the amount of memory allocated to the cache on this server. What we're going to have to do is stop the service on this server, but because it's a distributed cache with more than one server in the farm, we have to do this gracefully using the command that's from the previous module. So that's stop SP distributed cache service instance dash graceful. And this process can take easily up to 15 minutes on a heavily used farm. Now, this is a toy farm, so it's going to happen very quickly. But in the real world, with real use, that's going to take a long time to transfer to an alternative server. When we're done, we can remove SP distributed cache service instance, and these commands have to be run on the server that we're administering, 
And now we can change the amount of RAM. So that's update SP distributed cache size. And I specify the cache size in megabytes and let's put two gigabytes and hit return. So in this scenario, I'd like to increase the RAM used by the cache service from 600 meg to let's say one gigabyte. And the first thing I need to do is to stop the SP distributed cache service instance on this server. And I should pass in the dash graceful parameter if this is a server farm and we don't want to just pull the plug out effectively from the cache and lose everything in the cache on this server. Now this can take a while for us. We don't have anything in there, so it's going to be pretty quick. Having done that, we can now update the distributed cache size and specify a cache size in megabytes. And let's put in 1024. And that's now successfully taken. So I should be able to use the up arrow and show that we now have a gigabyte in use on this server. The last step would be to start the service again with add SP distributed cache service instance. And now we're back in business. So in this video, we've seen how to increase the amount of memory used by servers in our distributed cache cluster.